Hello everyone and welcome to Badger Workshops. I've had this Bosch GKF 12 volt router for about a year now. I've used it on lots of projects, so I thought I'd give you my thoughts on it. Now, Bosch did send this to me, but I'm gonna give you my honest opinions about it. So let's start with first impressions. You look at this thing and it looks really strange. And that's because it's got a very ergonomic design. The way you hold it and you wrap your hand around it is extremely comfortable and you've got a good grip on it. The position of the on off switch is really good for your thumb if you're a right hander and it's very easy to flick on and off. It also has a nice low center of gravity. Other cordless routers I've used with big batteries on top are very top heavy and want to tip over. This thing feels very stable and planted. So it all looks a bit strange, but it's very nice in operation. Now, let's get to actually how you use this thing. To put a bit in it, you've got a spindle lock at the front that you pull out. Now this is great because other ones you have to hold in with your hand. So it's a two-handed operation. This, you just need the one hand to change the bit. Well, obviously you need to use your other hand to actually hold the thing. Anyway, you pull this out and lock the spindle. It comes with a spanner, and it's a proper forged spanner instead of one of those stamped out ones, so that's nice. Then you can get your bit in and tighten down. To adjust the height, you've got this button on the side you can press in and then you can move it up and down. That's great for quick adjustments, but for fine tuning, you've got this wheel on the side you can turn to really dial in the depth you want. When you've got it all set up how you want it, there's a little knob on the side you can tighten down to lock it into place so that won't change. Now a nice safety feature it has, when the spindle lock is pulled out, it won't turn on and you get a little red beeping error message, so that's great. So I'm not really a big router user, but at the same time, that is why I love this router, because it specializes in doing a few things really well. And what it's really good for is adding a roundover or a chamfer to the side of a piece of wood. Now why I think it's so great for that is because it hasn't got round base. So when you put it on the bit of wood, more of the base sits on the bit of wood than hangs over the side, making it really stable. I've already talked about how the grip makes it easier to control, but there's also these couple of little thumb pads so you can put some extra support on to keep it level. So really, the two main things I use a router for is chamfers and roundovers, and that is what this specializes in. So that's why it gets used so much in my workshop. All right, let's stop talking about it and actually add a roundover to this bit of wood. So this router really excels at putting roundovers or chamfers on bits of wood, but it can be used for other things. I've used it to cut some V grooves in some windowsills and I used it to cut some mortises for some hinges. It could do both of those, but you had to take it a bit slower as this is a small compact router for these lighter tasks. Saying that, I have heard if you stick a six amp hour battery in it, I've got a two amp hour one in this that is a bit more powerful. So maybe that's something I'd like to try in the future. But how small and light it is, I'm definitely seeing as a positive. When I was doing the mortises for hinges, it was holding it up, working, and it's so light and comfortable to do that, I probably wouldn't be doing that with a big router. Now, I don't know if you could really tell from that little demonstration, but this thing is so quiet to use. It's a little brushless motor. And yeah, it's the quietest router I've ever used. Now, maybe the one negative, but I'm not even sure it is a negative, is there's no dust collection on it. 
I like dust collection on tools, but I'm not even sure it'd really work on this. Because it's so lightweight and small, I think if you just attach a hose to it, it would tip over. And that's just a compromise. If you want something this small and light, you probably can't have dust collection on it. But I have done it that I've run it along the side of a board and just held a hose up to it, and that worked really well. I don't know if I mentioned, this is a quarter inch router, and I've got a couple of boxes of Bosch router bits with it and they've covered every task I needed to do. So I'll put a link down below to this router and the router bits, and maybe I'll put a link to the six hour power battery as well if you want that for it. So that's it. I think that's all I've got to say about this little thing, and I really love it. It's just so lightweight and easy to use, and this strange design that looks weird at first just means it's so comfortable and stable. It really gives you confidence to add chamfers and roundovers knowing it's not gonna move and damage the bit of wood. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Please subscribe for more videos and there'll be links down below to all the bits mentioned. And thank you to Bosch for sending me this.